Today we are going to be filming a Trader Joe's holiday haul um, along with a little taste test featuring my husband Taylor. Um, this is one of my favorite things every year is to go to Trader Joe's for the holiday time, fall and Christmas. They always have so much fun stuff and it's kind of a trendy thing to do right now too. But um, I remember doing it with my mom growing up as a kid too. and so. Kind of taking on that tradition a little bit here, um, but we're gonna be rating and trying out all the things that my Trader Joe's had in stock. We don't have the biggest Trader Joe's um, and they didn't necessarily have everything out right now, but we're gonna go ahead and just try the stuff that they did have. And we got quite a few goodies, so should be fun. So these are the Thanksgiving stuffing seasoned kettle chips, which we've never had before. They sound interesting. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh, those totally taste like stuffing. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy what people can do with the flavor of chips. Like, those, there's so many weird chip flavors, but that really tastes like stuffing. If you like Thanksgiving stuffing, you will like these. Because they love taste stuffing. like stuffing. Yeah. Okay, are you ready to rate it? <clears throat> wow, I didn't think that would taste so much like stuffing. I mean, I knew it would, but. Okay, so one. We're gonna rate things out of five stars. So on the count of three, say your rating. Between one and five? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these are pretty good. Um, we both like stuffing though, so that helps, I guess. And chips. <laughs> and chips. Like chips. So yeah, these are good. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna try is, we didn't get a lot of savory stuff. They just didn't really have a lot um, at our Trader Joe's, but we love Trader Joe's cheeses. And these were the two seasonal ones. We've had this cinnamon Toscano cheese before, and it is so good, like so good. And then we've had brie from Trader Joe's before, but this is a specific slicing brie that I think is meant for like, like charcuterie and cheese boards and stuff. But we thought we'd try it out. And then I already had these crackers from Trader Joe's because we just have these all the time. I don't think these are um, a seasonal thing necessarily, but they're really good for little charcuterie boards and stuff, so. Okay, so first up is this slicing brie cheese, and I just sliced it, and you literally can like slice it into pieces, which is cool because that's really difficult to do with normal brie. So I do like that, that's cool. But let's go ahead and try it, here you go. Thank you. Okay. Tastes like mm. brie. <laughs> you think? Yeah, just tastes like brie. Brie is really good, but I don't really think it tastes like that much. I think I mean, it's nothing had, different than normal brie. So. In my opinion, I think we've had better brie Me than Trader Joe's. But like, if you do that want to cream. slice this up onto like a cheese board really easily for like a party or something, it's a good option. The texture's good. I mean, it's definitely it definitely tastes cheese. like brie. Yeah. Okay. Rating. Okay. One, two, three. Three. Two point five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That seems fair. I didn't love it, but it wasn't like horrible either. We've just had better brie from them. But like I said, if you really just want the slicing stuff, that's the way to go. Yeah. Okay, and then we've already had this cinnamon cheese, like I said before, but we really like it. So we're just gonna try it again. We're gonna take one from the team and eat the cheese we like a second time. <laughs> Ready? Bottoms up. Okay. That is so good. <laughs> That's the best cheese. It's, we love that cheese. It's so weird too, like cinnamon cheese. Yeah, I saw it in other people's Trader Joe's hauls before. And finally after seeing it, seeing it for like the 10th time, I'm like, let's just try it. And it is so good. It sounds so gross having cinnamon all over your cheese, but like, it is so good. It's, yeah, it's really good. It's, it's addicting. It's 
you would not think it's very good, but cinnamon cheese is really delicious. So okay, rating. I think I know what this One, is gonna be. One, two, three, five. five. <laughs> That's like the best cheese you can buy at Trader Joe's. It's yeah, so good. Yeah, it's so good. Okay, so I think that concludes our savory stuff. So I just wanted to show this was only seven ninety nine for this really cute gingerbread house kit. Um, and so like I'm excited to do this with Beckett, our son, also. So really good price for a cute little gingerbread house activity for your family or just for you. <laughs> okay, um, let's try these. Okay, these are the mini dark chocolate mint stars, which I love dark mm, chocolate and mint. So these will definitely be a winner for me. Yeah. I remember these from last year. I think they're pretty good. So we are chocolate lovers in this house too. So anything chocolate, we will genuinely like probably love. So keep that in mind with our ratings. Yeah, we're a little biased with chocolate. So tiny. Okay. Yeah, they're just they're tiny little. little like cookies. I think they're shortbread cookies. Yeah. So they're chocolate covered shortbread cookies infused with a bright flavor of peppermint. And so, and then they got the little non pareils Well, mine doesn't, but his has little non pareils sprinkles on them. So, I think they're good. <laughs> they're really simple. They're just like, they're really good for like kids too, I feel like. Yeah. Just like little shortbread cookie snacks. I could like those. Yeah. Okay, should good. we rate them? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Three point five. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just love chocolate things. So. You also love mint. She's yeah. really into mint. Like York peppermint patties are like her favorite candy. So one of her favorites. So I'm not as intimate as she, as she is, but I still like it, especially with dark chocolate. So, so I do well at Christmas time because a lot yeah, of things she, are chocolate and mint. So. Yeah, peppermint, mint, that's her favorite, so. Okay, next up are these classic candy cane JoJo's. I personally think JoJo's are way better than Oreos, but I know it's a yeah. very controversial thing and some people would say that that's ridiculous, but I just, I do like them better genuinely. So that also might mean I'm a little biased towards these, but go ahead and try these. These are literally just their normal JoJo's that have like the vanilla frosting in the middle and then they infuse it with little like bits of candy cane. Ooh, these are good. And they have cute little snowflakes on them. For oh, the yeah, that's cute. Christmas time. They seem like more textury than the Oreos. I was wondering why. Yeah, and for all time, they put like pumpkins on them. It's like an intense snow tire. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good. Mm. You get like a little bit of the crunch from the candy cane in it, too. That texture is really good. Mm -hmm. Like, I was not expecting it. I couldn't remember these at all. But I'm not usually crazy about like when you can crunch peppermint or candy cane and things, but the texture is like really good um, yeah. in the in the middle of this. Very slight, but it's really satisfying. Okay. That's good. Should we rate these also? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Four point five. <laughs> Again, half a point Almost above half me a point above. Okay. These, I like these more than I thought I would actually. I like JoJo's and especially with everything that's being said about Oreos nowadays, <laughs> JoJo's are even better, but Oh yeah. Okay, and then these, I, I've i had these since I was a child. Like these are my all time favorite Christmas thing from Trader Joe's and they're the dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojo. So essentially what we just ate, but like covered in chocolate. So 10 times better, which means we probably didn't need both, but I mean, why not? So, okay. So they are literally covered in chocolate and then they have the little peppermint candy cane bits on them also. So we're just gonna share one of these because we have a lot of sweets coming up, so. <laughs> Ladies first, all right, my turn. That. Oh, I'm glad we shared that. It was amazing. That was intense. Yeah, you only need to eat like one of them. Yeah. To feel like really satisfied, so. That, that like I said, is my favorite Christmas thing from Trader Joe's. I love those. Mm. And they are just like these small little packs, but this pack could last you like two weeks because they're so intense. Yeah, you don't need to eat more <laughs> than one of those. Like that is, that'll knock you out with, with sugar right there. So. so yeah, if you love chocolate and mint like me, mm. that is like perfect. Oh, good. But they are a little rich, so. Okay, rating? Yeah. One, two, three, five. 4.5. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose either. I knew you would give these a five, but. 
For me, I love these, but they also have the peanut butter chocolate covered ones. And I'm really big on peanut butter. And so I like those ones just a little more than these, but that's because I'm just not as big of a mint person. So yeah. otherwise these are really We really both good. like peanut butter and mint, but he's more the peanut butter and I'm more the mint. Yeah. So. yeah. Those are really good though. Those are so rich. They're, they taste like Christmas to me too. One. And we have these mini gingerbread people. Um, so we've had these before too, but I honestly don't really remember them very well. Do you? I remember I liked them. That was it. And I'm not really crazy about gingerbread. And I remember they had a really good flavor. If you love gingerbread, you probably will like these too. Can we just Ooh. share one of these too? Yeah, probably. Okay, so they're like actually cute little gingerbread men, like, and then they are frosted on the back, right? Yeah, yeah. Little people. white fudge icing is what they're called, or what they use on the back. So they're cute. They're definitely cute. Yeah. They're good. Like, that is good gingerbread, in my opinion. And I do like that they put the little bit of icing on the back, because, like, I feel like it gives it a little more of, like, a. Not, well, it is sweeter, but like... You need it because the ginger is actually pretty potent. Yeah. It comes in kind of hard and it's a little almost spicy to a degree because there is a lot of ginger, but that fudge really helps just smooth it out and make it so it doesn't like feel like you're burning your mouth by any means, so... I agree with it's that. A, it's a good... Yeah, it's a good cookie. I don't... I honestly would never go and like get gingerbread at a bakery or even like really like make it, honestly, because mm -hmm. I just love chocolate so much. But like, these are good. Like these we are. do buy these every year. <laughs> I always forget them, but like we do like them. Yeah, they're good. Okay, so rating. Okay. One, two, three. Three Four. point five. <laughs> okay. I knew, I, th I think I knew I liked those more than you did. Cause last year when we had these, I was the one that was really down on these. <laughs> I just think they're really good. There's something about that ginger flavor and the fudge. It definitely it's tastes Christmassy. Then we have, I'm not going to make this, we're so we're try obviously not going to try this, but this is their chocolate peppermint loaf baking mix. So you either make this chocolate peppermint loaf or they have these like cookies you can make with it on the side. And I already know this is really good. So do you remember this at all? I don't. Okay. Well, this is really good. I would probably give this a four out of five. Um, and it's easy to make. Like, it was peppermint. So you mean I'd give it a 3.5? Yeah, probably. <laughs> So it's really good though, and it's easy to make. So if you need like a quick treat that you want it to be like more of a homemade thing rather than this, then this is a good thing. Um, then last little sweet treat, then we'll move on to some drinks, I think, yeah. is these peppermint pretzel slices, which are just like classic. They sell these pretty much everywhere. But these are the Trader Joe's ones, so we're gonna rate these. These are crunchy pretzel slims with a creamy coating and peppermint sprinkles on them. Those are good. We're not huge like white chocolate mm -hmm. kinds of people, which is more of the flavor that these give off to me a little bit. Is that what you get out of it too? It reminds me so much of my mom. My mom's obsessed <laughs> with like the white chocolate dip, like flips pretzels you buy at like the movie theater. That's what these taste she like with those. peppermint on them. I mean, I'd say they're a little bit better than that, but yeah, we're not, we're just not huge on that flavor because we love like the dark chocolate and everything. So like they're good, like they're not bad by any means, especially if you love like white chocolate and like the peppermint, then you'll really like these. What would you rate this? Ready? Yep. One. Two, three. 2.5. 2. Oh, <laughs> again, 0.5. You thought they were bad to be a two. I did, yeah. You know, of all the things, this is probably my least favorite. Okay, and then the last little, well, not the last thing, actually. This is the thing that is so popular at Trader Joe's. It sells out so fast. And they're $1.99 for these little snowmen. And what you do is you put him into a cup of warm milk and he'll melt like a snowman and then it like releases all this like hot chocolate stuff and then you mix it around and it makes a cup of hot chocolate like he is so cute and like i said only a dollar 99 which is a really good price for these so we got several of them the limit on ours was 10 and we got 10 of them so <laughs> we can give them as gifts to um the kids like our neighbor kids and stuff and yeah, nothing like just going like on all the yeah. snowmen. So, but we were glad because they didn't have very many left when we got there today. So 
Um, but yeah, if you can get these, these are fun just to have for like your family or like I said, for gifts, they're a really inexpensive gift for like little kids. Um, Somebody gave us a Williams Sonoma one once. It was a big snowman and that was, we'd never done anything like this before. And we loved that Williams Sonoma one. That snowman was so fun to, to melt. Yeah, and it was like, so good. he melts like a little snowman in the hot, which is kind of sad, but it's also it, really yeah, cute. It's, it's like depressing to some degree. You're just like killing this poor snowman. But no, but no, 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 it's cute. It's, it's cute. cute and he releases, um, I think, mini marshmallows too. Yeah. yeah. He has milk chocolate chips and mini marshmallows in him. And then like, he's obviously edible too. It's a good so. gift though. It really is. Cause we had fun when we got ours and so. Yeah, so these are, these are really cute. Um, so we had a little mini intermission. And while we have that intermission, we tried more of these. And um, we like these a lot more than we did at first even. So these grow on you. These like get better as you eat more of them. I think we already gave them a four, but like I would up my rating a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I spent that whole intermission literally just eating these chips. So They're I good. think I like them. I would definitely up my rating on those two to be like a 4.5 or 5. Like, yeah. Which, yeah, they're really good. So just so you know, we did try more of those. Okay, but moving on, we are going to try some drinks and then the candy cane JoJo ice cream. So let's start with this. This is their winter wassail punch. And basically it's a spiced holiday like punch cider kind of a thing a punch version of wassail if you've ever had yeah yeah and um they say that you can drink it cold or hot so today we're gonna just try it cold but uh it's probably pretty good warmed up we'll too. definitely try it hot yeah yeah because that makes me think of wassail it's warm so okay it's definitely very like cidery punchy it just tastes like wassail <laughs> that should be hot don't even drink it cold well i actually don't mind it cold i mean it would be good warm too because it's definitely more of like a cidery like taste to it but i actually don't mind it cold so Maybe that just tastes like straight wassail that should be hot so i would say for me definitely yeah be warm. i liked it cold too so like either way um it's kind of more like of a refreshing thing when it's cold and more of like yeah. a cozy kind of vibe i would feel like when it's warm um, let's break it. One, two, three. 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 Yeah. Okay, we agree. <laughs> if it was hot, I probably would give it a four because I really like wassail and cider and things like that. So I think for me, it would be better if it was warm. But. Yeah, just kind of depends on like what you prefer. The next thing is, <laughs> we thought this was so funny. It's called Onog. Onog. So it's like, it's oat milk Onog. And it's, they say that it's soy free, gluten free, lactose free, dairy free, and vegan. So it is free of everything. We drink oat milk as like our milk. We don't drink normal milk. I mean, our two year old obviously does, but we're oat milk people. So we thought we would give this a try. I also just liked that it was called Onog. It's just fun to say. <laughs> Onog. Oh, that kind of has like eggnog texture. Texture to it. It's got eggnog texture. It's got oat milk texture though when oat milk is like that too. A little thicker, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, let's give it a try. I don't like how onog or eggnog in general, how when you drink it, it's like you can see it like creeping down the cup. It's so viscous. Ew, don't say that. <laughs> That's Odie. It tastes kind of like eggnog though. I don't really like dairy like eggnog. I think it's kind of disgusting. And like there's two sides of that. Either you love it or you hate it, I feel like. I actually really like this because I always I'm the person who always waters down eggnog from the store with milk. I like it to be like a lighter texture, like a thinner texture. And that's exactly what this is. It's eggnog flavor, but in a lighter texture. And you, it's you got, can taste it's some got of the like oat. the oat, which but, I like, cause yeah. I don't like like the flavor of eggnog a ton. So I definitely think this is better. And if you like oat milk, you'd probably like this too. Yeah, I think I'd rather actually drink this than than regular eggnog just because I already thin out the eggnog and this is done, does it but for me. But it's like so. really similar considering that it's yeah. made out of like oat milk and stuff, so. I thought it was gonna be really weird actually. Yeah, So okay, let's rate it, ready? One, two, three, four. 3.5. <laughs> I thought I'd like that better than you. Yeah. Okay, and then the final. That's funny because I like eggnog I think more than you. Usually oh, I hate eggnog. I think eggnog's disgusting. This doesn't really taste like eggnog to me though. So. Yeah, it's good. 
That's a big deal when you can make someone like eggnog who doesn't like eggnog. So way to go, Onog. Then the last thing, which looks so good, is this candy cane Jojo ice cream. So it is peppermint, peppermint and vanilla ice cream swirled with fudge and chunks of candy cane Jojo cookies. Mm -hmm. So Taylor is a huge ice cream person. Yeah, oh yeah. I like it too, but it usually has to be chocolate for me to really like it, which the base of this isn't chocolate, but. Yeah, look at that. We do love peppermint in this household and chocolate combined, so. And ice cream. And ice cream. And ice cream. <laughs> so, okay, here's a spoon. Thank you. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> yes, ice cream is cold. <laughs> that is good. It's very like, creamy the texture of the ice cream stuff it's like really creamy trader joe's always has really excellent ice cream my like favorite frozen ice cream like store-bought ice cream that you can buy frozen ice cream store-bought ice cream is from trader trader joe's so they do a really good job that's really good and that chocolate in it is like Chocolate's so really good. so good and it it's got the little like jojos in it too i think it's really good yeah i mean that's just one bite off the top and we obviously haven't gotten to like the jojo chunks or anything yet either so like that's pretty good. That That is a good preview of what's to come. And then it's good. Okay, let's rate it then. Okay. One, two, three, 4.5. I don't mean to do this, but everything that's mint, you're like half a point higher than me. I, I just love peppermint and chocolate. It's so Christmassy. But yeah, this, this is definitely worth trying because like who doesn't like ice cream? So yeah. For real. <laughs> that's good. Okay. And then um, Taylor suggested that we should show what our top three from this little haul was. So we're gonna do that now. After trying all of this, I would say my top, my number three would be the chocolate covered JoJo's. These. The dark chocolate ones. Okay. Yeah, that's number three. So this is his number three? That's a close third. My number three is going to be this, the candy cane JoJo ice cream. That's a good really choice. Good. <laughs> That's a good choice. Okay, what's your number two spot? Number two, and I wouldn't have thought this when we bought all of this stuff, because this is the only not Christmas thing, really, it seems like. Those chips. Oh yeah, the things I like the stuffing chips. chips. They're chips. Good. We did. We were like eating them and they kept getting better. We like kettle chips a lot too. Like if we buy chips, it's usually kettle, and so we like that they're kettle chips. I like that they're kettle chips. I was reading what's in okay. them and it's like rosemary and thyme and all that kind of stuff that you'd put in Thanksgiving stuffing. So obviously that's what it tastes like. So yeah. they're pretty good. They're growing on me. That's for sure. So um, my number two would be, I already put it back in the fridge. So it doesn't go bad, but that cinnamon Toscano cheese. I love that. I mean, that's out during the fall time too. I know, Yeah. but I mean, it continues for a little while. So we just get as much of that as we can. And I just really love that cheese. That's right. And then your number one pick. I'm going to surprise you with this, but it's not a surprise because I think it's the only thing I gave a five to. That cheese, the Toscano, cinnamon Toscano cheese. Yeah, we just it's love really that. Good. We do. My number one pick is these dark chocolate mm. covered peppermint Jojos. These are just like, these just scream Christmas for me. I, I had these all the time growing up too. And so I just love these. I love peppermint dark chocolate for about the thousandth time that I've said that, so. Yeah. yeah, she talks about those like all year. She's always like, oh, I can't wait for gosh, Christmas because then yeah. I can get the peppermint Jojos. So yeah, she's, these are a big yeah. deal. I guess that was your number one. You surprised right. me with your number three, but I wouldn't have the others. Yeah, I wouldn't have this thought. This is just this put into ice cream. <laughs> I know, but you're not as big of an ice cream person as I am. So no, I, I usually only like like really, really chocolatey ice cream yeah. and stuff. I'm not, and this is vanilla and peppermint ice cream base. So that's kind of a big deal for me, but there's a lot of like chocolate in it and I love peppermint. So it makes sense to me. Yeah, this is good stuff. I mean, Trader Joe's is fun. Yeah. I know. I don't think you can really go wrong with anything here. I mean, like our lowest rating thing, I think, was like the cheese, the brie, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think I gave something a two. I don't remember what now. Yeah. And like that brie. The pretzels. Even? I gave the pretzels a two. Oh, yeah. That's but probably my least favorite thing. That's but... just because we're not white chocolate people. But yeah. like even that brie is good. Like we just like a different kind of brie better, but like yeah. I know this was bad, so. Yeah. Another honorable mention thing for me is this. Yeah. Because I hate eggnog, I really do. And this was like so good to me. I like O-nog now. Right, well, that concludes our little Trader Joe's haul. Thank you for joining us for this. And hopefully we were able to give you some good suggestions and um, 
you can go pick up some of these things for yourself. But we hope you're doing well and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.